Hello everyone, Chocolate Roberts here for one more video review. <laughs> this time we have Kit Kat Dark. So um, presumably it's the uh, dark chocolate equivalent of the regular Kit Kat. Um, I break out my Kit Kat, why not? Um, yeah, so it looks um, quite a nice wrapper really. So you've got the regular Kit Kat shenanigans there, but of course you've got the dark section here. Um, mm, that looks quite tasty. So yes, yeah, so... Um, I don't know whether the fact that it's called dark is um, is a way of um, covering the fact that it's not really dark chocolate. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, no, it does say covered with plain. Yeah, so four crispy wafer fingers covered with plain chocolate. So plain chocolate is uh, basically another term for dark chocolate generally. Um, in the UK at least. I don't know uh, if this is an international bar, but um, yeah. So there we go, but you know. I've heard debates on the subject, <laughs> believe it or not, so who knows? But anyway, that's what it says, plain chocolate. Um, so that's good enough for me. Um, yeah, so quite a nice wrapper. So it continues with a the dark theme on the back. So you can see it's quite like the brown colour, dark brown. Um, let's see, so um, yeah, so per 30, 45 grams, which is probably the entire bar. Yes, it is. That's quite good, it actually tells you for the whole bar. So 227 uh, calories the whole bar. Um, so not reasonably high. Um, so fat 11.5 grams, 6.6 .6 of which is saturates. So yeah. But you know you can um, quite easily um, you know have a, just a finger at a time or something like that with this. So yeah. Um, so there are some flourishes involved as you can see. Um, you know, good centimetre half on each side probably. So without those you can see it's pretty much smaller. I'm sure they used to come like that actually, just um you know foil wrapped with a sort of a, a sort of chocolate warmer wrapper almost where it would just go around the side and you could see the foil on the inside on the edges. Um I'm sure these be pretty snug and it looked fine, so I don't know why they've done it. Maybe you know, as I say they get smaller over the years. So let's do the quick measurements. So not too scientific as usual. Um, about 12 and a half, basically. 12 and a half centimetres. Right, let's give it an open. So there's a convenient tear here, uh, strip here. So since it's there, I'll use it. Normally I would just open it down the middle, which I think is probably the best way to do it. Um, and normally I would snap a finger off uh, at this point. Um, yeah, it's probably worth me saying actually, um, in case you don't know, a Kit Kat is um, generally a fingered bar um, and it's wafer covered with chocolate basically. And it's usually between two and four fingers. So in this, this is the four finger version. Um, but there's sometimes you can get a, a smaller size which is a two finger version. It's basically half the size. Um, yes, so there we go. Um, I think Kit Kat's quite widely known so I'd be surprised if you didn't know that but you never know. Um, if you haven't had a Kit Kat before, I, I would recommend them. So let's um, well, let's see what this dark chocolate one's like. So let's have an open. So well, there you go. this is quite good. So when I've opened it like that, it's gone down. It has like a sort of, you know, seam that you can. Uh, oh, had a bit of bit of breakage here. A bit of breakage. I'll try and take this out. So well, obviously, normally you would just snap a finger off now, and you'd take that finger. So it would be quite convenient normally. But um, because I'm trying to take the whole bar out, um, it's not convenient. <laughs> I'm going to have to faff a bit to uh, get the whole thing out. Okay, so we've, so we can see, um, basically I bought this from a vending machine, so there's every chance that that bit broke off um, in the vending machine when it dropped to the floor. So you can see there, there's no foil on the inside, by the way. Kit Kats used to be quite famous for having a foil wrapper on the inside. Um, I don't know if that is some kind of foil, I'm not sure, but it's not the same foil, like a tin foil where you could scrunch it up and it'd be like a little metal ball. Um, okay, weather's not so warm today, but uh, I can feel this might still melt in my hands, so I'm going to be careful. Yeah, so one thing on the side is uh, it's breaking a bit at the top, you can see, but there you, go, you can clearly see the four fingers of the Kit Kat logo. One of them's got a little bit of white marking there, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I'm being careful with turning this over because one's fingers broke. It's quite plain on the opposite side. It's starting to melt in my hands already. 
So I do apologize for that. <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay, so there we go. We've got the fourth thing at Bossy, and there's, um, I don't know what that is really on there. There's like a white marking on one of them. It's really short to me out, so I'll just lift that. We can see that there. I don't think that's, I don't think there's any white pocket or anything in there, so I'm not sure. It must be just a little imperfection. But yeah, so conveniently, one bit's already snapped off, so that's quite useful. So you can see um, the, um, basically this is what it is really. It's It's got wafer on the inside. I don't think it's, well, I don't think it's separated with chocolate or anything. Um, so I think it's just wafer, layers of wafer. Um, but then you get like a thick chocolate layer, which in this case is obviously dark chocolate. So normally you would snap off a finger and uh, eat it that way, but of course, which I'll do in a minute, but, um, Oh yeah, I'll show you actually. So there you go, so you've got the, the fingers here and you just obviously snap a bit off. So you can see this this finger's had it. So there you go, so there's a, there's a full size finger. Quite nice, you can see the sort of tire track on the bottom <laughs> where it's been on the assembly line presumably. Like little Kit Kat uh, logo in the middle. Yeah, so um, quite a nice bar, so you can see it's a bit dark, well, it's a bit darker than the usual Kit Kat. It's just a bit normally it's obviously milk chocolate. Um, right, so let's uh, let's have a try, shall we? See what it's like. Hmm. Well, it's definitely um, definitely uh, dark chocolate, milk ch uh, plain chocolate. So, hmm. Hmm. It's very nice actually. Yes, it's very nice. I mean, well, if you've had a Kit Kat before, it's basically a Kit Kat with. Um, with dark chocolate, so you'll know what to expect. But um, it's really nice, actually. Yeah, very tasty. Um, there's no bit that's broke off, so you can see the bottom bit of the wafer there. It's a bit of a bad example, but yeah, it's very tasty. Yeah, it's very very crispy. Chocolate's a nice. Look at that, how thick that chocolate is on the top. Mmm, that's very nice. I don't know if that's a, a mistake, <laughs> and that's why this this finger's collapsed a bit. I'm not sure because I think. I think the wafer might be, I think there might not be enough chocolate on the bottom. So it's caused it to be unstable, so there's too much chocolate. So I think it might not be normally be that thick. Um, it might have a bit more thickness on the bottom, so it averages out, you know. So there's, there's still the same amount of chocolate, but... Um, but yeah, it's uh, really nice. Let's have another try. Mm. Yeah, it's very much dark chocolate, so it's very that bittery taste. It's not like a sweet, it's not like a halfway house between milk and dark chocolate or anything like that. It's, um, yeah, it's very much dark chocolate. It's so very nice, actually. Yeah. That's yes, I do like. I love the whiff, I love the wafer, um, the crispiness of that. Hmm. And the bitterness of the dark chocolate's very nice, actually. Yes, I'm, um, I'm a big fan, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Very nice indeed. Now, yes, yeah, so uh, there's a technique um, with, with eating these where if you've got a cup of a hot drink, hot chocolate, tea or coffee or something, you can basically nibble off the ends. Um, one of my followers on Twitter, um, Chelsea at Taste the Tea, <laughs> uh, she told me about this. Um, I'd heard of it before for things like spiras and things, um, um, but she said that Kit Kats were very good at it. So I think I did um, attempt it in another review I did. So I'm going to attempt it in this one just to see because it really, you're basically you're using this as a straw. Um, so you're melting all the chocolate on the inside, so it's very nice. So if you just dibble off both ends. That's a go. So you can see actually, it is quite thick on the top, so I could be wrong about that. Uh, about it being a, a mistake on the other one. Um, and I conveniently have a cup of nice warm coffee here. With milk. <laughs> so let's give it a go, let's have a try. Mm. Mm. A bit of slip in there, sorry about that, but um, you don't get much of the, co uh, the coffee coming through, but it's definitely saturated the whole bar, so I think now to eat the bar would be very tasty indeed, so I'm going to probably put this all in one, so let's give it a try. Mm. Oh wow. Wow. Mm. That's quite nice actually. Mm. Mm. Basically, the whole part of the wafer comes, you know, um, soaked in coffee is the gist of it. So, 
then when you eat it it's all very nice and soft and melted so you're getting like a bit of a some kind of mocker I guess it's um, hmm. a nice taste something a bit different yeah a bit messy <laughs> doesn't really work much as a straw you get a bit of it through um, but I think the uh, I definitely the bonus is afterwards when um, the whole uh, I say the bar's just got lots of coffee flavouring inside or tea or whatever, so it's very tasty actually. So yeah, um, overall, um, yeah, I think this is a very nice bar actually. Um, lovely alternate alternative to the uh, to the milk chocolate version. Um, if you're a dark chocolate fan, you'll definitely love it, um, and I think uh, it's definitely worth trying if you're just a regular Kit Kat fan as well because it's very tasty. So yeah, uh, thumbs up for this one, I think. Uh, I think I'll give it. Um, Hmm, I think, well, I think perhaps um, a 4 out of 5, I think, uh, for that. It's um, a very nice chocolate bar, yeah, so hmm. always, uh, I've always got a spot for a Kit Kat, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, guys, um, thanks for watching the video. hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, let me know if you've had this bar and what you think about it. And, um, and always get in touch via Twitter or in the comments. Uh, please feel free to subscribe and uh, follow me on Twitter as well and, um, and like my videos or dislike them. Um, and I hope to hear from you. Okay, thanks guys. Uh, I think I've uh, got a bit of chocolate chocolate hand here, so um, it'll be difficult to wave to you. But um, yeah, I hope, uh, hope you have a lovely day, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye for now. See you later. Sorry about the chocolate on the hands. <laughs> Bye.